The haunting of Riverdale. Something evil this way comes. Something so terrifying, even Jughead can't bear to face it. Can Archie stop the ghostly menace? The haunting of Riverdale. Okay, the coast is clear. Are you sure? Yep, no Reggie in sight. Jughead? Yeah? I locked myself in the locker. No kidding. Uh, huh. Yep, it's locked. I know that. Hurry up and dial the combination. There, that should do it. Allow me. Thanks, Jughead. Now if I can avoid Reggie for the rest of the day, I'm scot-free. Hey. Uh, hi there, Reggie. <laughs> What's new? A little constructive criticism, Arch. This week's Archie's Weird Mysteries column has to be the lamest one yet. Always picking the slowest grocery store checkout line. Just plain bad luck or government time experiment? That's a pretty weird mystery, if you ask me. No matter how fast it moves, the moment you get in line, it slows to a crawl. Some eerie force literally slows time down. It was bad enough when you were writing about werewolves and aliens and evil robots, but this is just pathetic. It's a good thing Reggie's your friend. Otherwise, he might not give you such constructive criticism. Oh, Reggie's right. The column is boring, but it's not my fault. It's been really normal in Riverdale for months. What can I do? Switch to a recipe column? Maybe, Jughead. Because if something weird and mysterious doesn't happen soon, next week's column is going to be even more boring. Another day, another dollar. <sighs> it's right to bed for me tonight. Hello? Anyone there? Hmm. Must have been my imagination. This better not be someone pulling a prank on good old Pop Tate. No. Keep away. Keep away! The deadline for the next column is Friday. And I can't even find a mildly odd mystery, much less a weird one. There, there, Reggie. You can rest in the nurse's office until your parents come to pick you up. Mr. Weatherby, what's wrong with Reggie? Poor Reggie's in a state of shock, Archie. The school nurse says that after a couple of days of rest, Reggie should be back to his normal self. Reggie, it's me, your friend Archie. Speak to me. Shh. We have to be quiet. All those years we made fun of her behind her back. Now she's come back for revenge. Who? Quiet Violet. She's coming. You better watch out. Keep this safe for me. Uh, good thinking, Reggie. Wouldn't want your overdue library book notice to get in the wrong hands. He must have experienced some sort of horrendous scare last night. I just found him wandering through the gym. Weird. The radio news says there's been 11 other cases like this in Riverdale since last night. A real mystery. A really weird mystery. Don't worry, Reggie. I'll get to the bottom of this. What a strange young man. Quiet Violet will get him, too, if he doesn't watch out. Come 
on, Jughead. The game is afoot. Afoot, huh? Doesn't seem like much of a game, does it? Maybe it's a hopping game. That would make sense. No, Archie, I just don't see this foot game of yours catching on. That's not what I mean. There's a weird mystery to solve. Well, I don't think you'll solve it by hopping on one foot. I'll start again. <clears throat> Jughead, there's a weird mystery to solve. Let's go. Well, why didn't you say that in the first place? Let's go. And there have been 11 cases since last night. Reggie just stares off into space, spouting nonsense. Are you sure this is a weird mystery? Sounds like pretty normal regimental behavior to me. This is serious, Jughead. I need your help. I'm just pulling your leg. You know you can count on me. Reggie's my friend, too. Good. I figure we can cover more ground if we split up. I'm going to interview those other 11 cases. And what do I do? We don't know what is causing this. Go to the library and see if you can dig up anything similar in the Riverdale History Archives. L library? Uh, um... I just remembered. I have to help my mom with some chores. Bye, see you tomorrow. But Jughead! Oh, and best of luck on the weird mystery. Thanks a lot. What's with him? Well, I guess the library is my first stop. Hello, Ms. Herrera. Is my usual table available? More weird mystery research, Archie? Yep. No. Huh. Yup? No. <sighs> Thanks. <sighs> Did any of those books help? Nope. Nothing that matches what I'm investigating. Whatever the answer is to this weird mystery, it isn't here at the library. Why so glum, Archie? Something is scaring Riverdale citizens into a state of shock, and I have no leads. What kind of weird mystery investigator am I? When they found Pop Tate, he didn't say a word. He just stared off into space, clutching an overdue library book notice and muttering, Quiet Violet, over and over again. There's that name again, Quiet Violet. Maybe when all the victims get better, they'll be able to tell us what it means. Wait a minute. Did you say Pop Tate was holding an overdue library book notice? Yes. Reggie's overdue book notice. That's it. There has to be a connection between the library and what is happening. Mwah! Thanks, Betty. You're wonderful. It took Reggie's overdue library book notice for you to notice that I'm wonderful? Hello, Archie. What can I do for you? This may seem like a strange question, but has anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Not out here where everyone can hear us. I don't want to alarm the library patrons, but I've noticed a lot of unusual occurrences since I took over as head librarian. Like what? Sometimes I get the feeling that there's some strange presence behind me. But when I turn around, no one is there. Hmm. There have also been sudden drops in temperature and a cold breeze through the library when there isn't an open window. And, and even stranger things. The books shelve themselves. Patrons will ask for a book and it will appear on the desk. Even a batch of overdue book notices disappeared yesterday. I bet there were 12 of those notices, right? Yes, there were. How do you know that? Something scared Reggie, Pop Tate, and 10 other Riverdale citizens into advanced stages of shock last night. The only thing that all 12 victims had in common? They each had overdue library books. It's almost as if something is trying to help out the library, but doesn't realize how spooky all this seems. Interesting. This sounds like a classic poltergeist manifestation. Mind if I look around? If it will help get rid of this problem before it scares people away, you can investigate all you want. It's been hours. I guess the watch pot never boils. 
and the looked for poltergeist never shows up. On the other hand, you always find your car keys in the last place you look. I guess that also applies to poltergeists. M maybe I really didn't think this through. What do I do now? Uh, excuse me. Pardon me. I said, excuse me. Quiet! <gasps> I think I just overplayed my hand. See where that ghost went? Oops, never mind. Quiet! No shouting in the library! I'm not going to warn you again! Sorry, I didn't realize folks on the other side were so picky about library etiquette. Oh. Troublemaker! I warn you! Throwing the book at someone, but this is going too far. Whoa! This is not going to end well. I can feel it. Whoa! Leave me alone. Go and rid someone's mind or something. Oh! Ow! Ouch! Ow! Uh. That smarts. I hope you've learned your lesson. Behave yourself in the library. Yes, ma'am. I make it a policy never to argue with angry ectoplasm. Very well. Put these books on the cart when you're through with them. In memoriam, Violet Stanhope. Of course, the old head librarian. Hmm. I guess it's too late to keep this from scaring people away from the library. Wait a minute. Violet Stanhope. Quiet Violet. There must be something in all these library books on hauntings for getting rid of ghosts. I just can't believe that Miss Stanhope's ghost really means to scare all these people. What's up? Archie traced all those mysterious incidents back to the library. The old head librarian's ghost is haunting Riverdale. So we're trying to find a way to stop her before she scares anyone else. Leave this one alone, Archie. Don't go up against quiet Violet. Calm down, Jughead. What's gotten into you? Just promise me you won't go back to that... That, that library! What do you have against the library, Jughead? I never told anyone this story before. I was only six years old. It was my first and last visit to the library. It was fun at first. There were so many exciting things to see. Then she came by and started to ruin it. <laughs> That's not a toy, little boy! There was this really interesting book, but Quiet Violet wouldn't let me enjoy it. That book isn't for little boys! Go to the children's section where you belong! Even that couldn't spoil it for me. Later, there was an even better book in the children's section. This book was so funny, I couldn't stop myself from laughing. But Quiet Violet couldn't let me enjoy the book. Quiet! No laughing in the library! I felt about as low as a little boy could. I decided to leave the library before I started crying. But she wasn't done with me yet. Wait! Come back <gasps> here, little boy! Stop! Uh, and I never went back to the library after that. Violet Stanhope wasn't a bit like that, Jughead. She may have looked a little frightening, but she cared about children. She helped me get my first library card. All I know is that if she was that frightening in life, she must be twice as horrible as a ghost. I can't even understand why she would haunt the library in the first place. Here's something. It says here that many ghosts haunt a place because they have unfinished business left over from their lives. So, if we figure out what Miss Stanhope's unfinished business is, we can help her finish it and she'll stop haunting the library. I didn't realize. Uh, speaking of unfinished business, I've got to go. There's something I have to take care of. Bye. I don't understand that, boy. I guess Jughead won't be any help with this. You couldn't get him within miles of the library.
Phew, I'm glad that's over. That should take care of that rotten old ghost unfinished business. <gasps> ah! What do you want? I returned the book. Now you can stop haunting the library. Ah! Keep away. Hello, Archie. Hello, Betty. Where is everyone? I've never seen the library so empty. Haven't you heard? The library is haunted. People aren't coming to the library because they're frightened? A library without people reading is like, like, well, like a bookshelf without books. I can't believe that Violet means to scare people away. This library was her life. We think we might have a chance of ending this haunting, but we need to find out more about Miss Stanhope. Is there anyone still around who knew her well? Violet did write and self-publish this memoir of her years as a librarian here. Will that help? This might just be what we need. Amazing! Who knew? Incredible! This has to be Quiet Violet's unfinished business. But, but how, how are, are we, we going, going to get, get Jughead, Jughead back into the, the library? library? You can't just stay there all day. I'm not coming out. But we need you to come with us to the library tonight. That crazy ghost chased me half the night. There's absolutely nothing that can convince me to go near that library again. We'll buy you lunch at Pop Tate's for a month. So, what time do you need me at the library? Are you sure this is going to work? It's the best chance we have of de-haunting the library. Why don't we just brick up the library and never go inside again? Not an option, Jughead. Let's go in. <gasps> but I forgot to pay the meter. You don't own a car, Jughead. So what do we do now? Wait. If I have this figured out right, it shouldn't be long. And if you don't have this figured out right? We're ghost toast. Look! We're not trespassers or vandals. We've come to help you. This is the little boy you've been wanting to see for so long. A little boy? Archie, you faked me out to a ghost. It's not what you think. My, look at him all grown up. Huh? That's open to debate. It's a trick. She's just acting nice, so she can get a chance to grab me. You poor dear. I don't know why you found me so frightening. Well, you were mean. You wouldn't let me play with the globe. I wasn't being mean. The globe almost fell over on you. I was only warning you to be careful. Well, what about that book you snatched from me? That book was waiting to be repaired. All the pages were coming loose. That's why I took it from you and gave you that other book from the children's section. You gave me that book? I don't remember that. Well, you seemed awfully scared of me. Maybe you blocked it out. But you did make me stop laughing. That was really mean. Do you remember how loud you were? <laughs> you were making quite a ruckus. <laughs> <laughs> a little happy noise in the library is okay, but you were really laughing up a storm there. And there were people in the library who were studying and needed quiet. I guess you're right about that. But I should have realized how intimidated you were. I felt horrible when I saw that look on your face. Well, I still don't understand why you chased me when I left the library. That was scary. You were leaving with that library book. I needed to give you a library card so you could check it out. But you were out the door too fast. I never stopped waiting for your next visit to the library. I wanted so much to show you how enjoyable our library was. But you never came back. I thought you wanted to get me. I guess I was wrong about you. But you look so mean. People like books should never be judged by their covers. I never meant to frighten anyone. But you have been frightening people. You really scared those people when you tried to give them their overdue notices. And now no one comes to the library anymore because it's haunted. That's terrible. I was only trying to help. 
I didn't realize that I was scaring people. Time to leave the library and move on, Miss Stanhope. Miss Herrera will take care of the library for you now. You're right, of course. I leave under one condition, that this young man promises to finally get his library card and visit the library often. I promise. Goodbye, then. What's your name, young man? Jughead. Jughead Jones. Enjoy reading these books, Jughead Jones. Is it possible to miss someone you never got a chance to know? You can know her from her book. So everything is as it should be. The ghost of Violet Stanhope no longer haunts the library, but her good influence on Riverdale will never go away. And Jughead has rediscovered the library after years of avoiding it. Cookbooks, adventure stories, local history, he's reading all types of books. But his personal favorite is a book by a librarian named Violet Stanhope. It's pretty good. You ought to check it out the next time you visit the library in a little town called Riverdale. <laughs>